how are you less likely to win when you don't utilize a realtor? Gents, it's Cyberland coming back with another educational video, and this time we're just going to go into just being straight up front about you know people use realtors and people that don't. Now, when I say this, keep in mind if you're already a realtor and you already have the experience and stuff, you've been in the game, you know everything, then you don't need to utilize a realtor if you can do it yourself. But some realtors might use somebody else because they don't feel like dealing with all the Stuff that comes with the, ah, you know, but this is for people who normally are not part of the profession. This is for people that are um, uh, outside of that spectrum. So, what are you losing on in the long run when you don't use a realtor as opposed to if you did? Well, the first thing I'm going to say is, and this is probably the most important, is time. That's what you're losing out on is time. Your time is being wasted. Money you can get back. You can always get money back. But time, you can't. Time is always moving forward. It never goes backwards. Ever. Not in our lifetime. So every day you're aging, you know what that means. Yesterday you were 10. Now you're 20. Do the math. So when you choose to feel like, well, I don't need a realtor. I'll utilize a realtor when I, when, I, when, I, when I want to buy a home. Wait, 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 wait. Just one minute. There's a lot more to it than just doing that. Do you know what homes you're looking to buy? What you're interested in? What you like, what you don't like? Are you only seeing homes that when you drive down the street you see open house? Do you actually have a system set up to where you're getting constant emails on a regular basis about new homes and that you're able to get into those homes? Do you have that type of um, contact? Do you have that type of information to help you? No? Okay. Well, you're already wasting your time. Have you already talked to a lender? Okay, you talk to a lender. Did you get a second opinion? Did you get a third opinion? Not all lenders are created equal. Talking to a realtor, we're going to normally tell you that. We're not just going to tell you to go with one person. And say, hey, you know what? I got a couple people. Give them a call. And I'll give you their information, but I'll have, um, I'll have them wait for you to give them a call unless you would like them to call you. It's your decision. Pick their brain. Know exactly what they're telling you. Write down what they're telling you. So it makes it easier for you and you're not wasting your time. You already know you're getting more education because in order to not waste your time, you need the education. And a good lender is going to educate you. A good realtor is going to educate you because we want you to learn the process with us while we're going through it with you. So you don't have to worry about anything. The more education my clients have, the more comfortable they are and the more secure they are. And of course... They trust me because I want them to know the process so there's no hiccups. You get that from when you're working with a realtor. Not working with a realtor. You want to put an offer in. Do you know how to put an offer in? Have you ever put an offer in? Do you know what you need to show in regards to your bank statement? You know you need to, you know you know what the ABCs are. That's what an acronym we like to use. Do you know what information you need to show the realtor, as opposed to information that 
you do not need to disclose. Do you know that? Your realtor will know all that. Because it's also their job to financially protect you and make sure that nobody's going to get over on you. Do you also know the whole process about once you're in escrow, getting accepted? Do you know how to go through that process without a realtor? What about getting documents signed? Do you know how to do that? Do you know all the documents you're supposed to sign? These are very important questions. Your realtor is going to be able to provide you with the documents and make sure you're signing the documents. Do you know the time frame of your escrow? What about the inspection? What about the appraisal? What about the loan contingency? Do you know how to take care of all that? Or are you just willing to not have an inspection? not have an appraisal, just bypass it, and you're not only paying more out of pocket for a home that's not worth what it says it is, but at the same time, you don't even know if the roof is good, you don't even know if the electrical or plumbing's good. And not only did you shell out more money for a house that's not worth what it's supposed to be, but now, two months into the game of your home, you can't flush your toilet without the stuff backing up into the bathtub. Half of your house the lights aren't working. Or when you turn on a certain light, you start smelling smoke. Or another one. You're starting to notice a part of your house is sinking into the ground. This is why you hire a realtor. So now You've only, you not only have you shelled out money, but now you've wasted time based on the fact that you felt you knew everything in a profession you're not a part of. And you want to go the route of not trying to pay people what they're worth because let's just keep it frank. A lot of people don't utilize realtors because they think they know everything and they don't want to pay for stuff. They don't want to pay for a service. That's okay. You don't have to. I understand what comes with that. I work hard for every commission that I make. I work very hard. And I don't just work hard to get a commission. I work hard to help people that are willing to trust me and allow me to do what I need to do to get them into their home. Now, if you're not willing to do those type of things with realtors because you feel some type of way, okay, that's perfectly fine. Nobody can force you to work or work with a realtor. You can do everything by yourself. But understand that also sellers are not going to want to work with somebody who doesn't have an agent. Because they know that this person is not going to know the process. This person is not going to get documents done. Time is money. And I don't want to waste my client's time who's trying to sell this property, and I'm not going to waste my time to get this to get this home sold and done, to get this escrow done on time. I'm not trying to waste my time. So I'm not going to take this person's offer. I'm not saying it's a members-only club. However, what I am saying is that there's a reason why we do what we do. There's a reason why we're hired. It isn't just we go out and just show you a home and you put an offer in. It's a lot more than that. We're the ones who have to get these documents together. We're the ones that might need to make sure you sign everything. We're the ones that need to put the offer in and make sure the calculations are right. We're the ones that need to talk with the lender, your lender, who you selected, to make sure everything's going back or everything's going fine with the transaction because there may be hiccups. We're the ones working behind the scenes to make sure all these things are going fine. And all you really have to do is sign paperwork for the most part and when it comes to decisions about the appraisal or it comes to the inspection, you're the one making those decisions, but we're guiding you to make sure that you're making the right decision. Now, when you're not working a realtor, you ain't got all that. 
And again, most seller agents are not going to want to deal with a client or deal with an offer that doesn't have an agent. Just not. They don't want no litigation. So you got to keep that in mind when you're deciding not to work with a realtor, what you're really trying to say. And it's not being nasty. It's not being rude. It's just you're telling the person that's trying to help you that even though you're not in this profession, you know what you're doing. But when you really look at it, there's so many issues you can have when you're working when you're not working with a professional that deals with the business on it every day basis constantly 24 7 that's why we do what we do that's why we're here to do what we do all you need to do is trust us not be cheap and respect yourself and value your time because when you're doing those things everything falls into place like it should so with that being said I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.